So I hope you all enjoy it. Okay? Thanks, Donna. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm really happy to be here today. I, I really am. Uh, this is an idea. I, I should be attending more of myself. In the early days, I was religiously here on a Thursday. I, uh, I, I've invested by myself coming here in the, in the mornings for a couple of hours uh, to catch up, uh, listen to the stories. Uh, honestly, I, I, I really, I, I really mean that. Uh, but then again, I take stuff on. I'm away a few weeks at a time working. When I'm home, I'm working. Uh, but we do have our own time, so we're making sure we have our own time. Uh, yeah, so this idea itself is about nine years old. Uh, the, the theme of the lunch, and for why not, what better time to put the idea into motion is on a day like today. And now I'm just going to ask him, that probably actually hasn't seen uh, a peat bank for a number of years, and it's, it's very sad to say, uh, I am really sad to say, you can tell. Although, I did put it in the water last night, Ready for today. Well, that one's too aside, Alastair. Um, so, one year, myself and my brother went out, I came home, I said, Make sure you put the tarps in the water. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I have a bloody cake, there was no water to be seen. And we went out. And we came straight back home, because Kai was scarred. <laughs> um, if you could speak, I think it, it was. <laughs> Many a story it would tell. I was looking at it the other day and um, it has been shaped um, by Bill and made it, probably dad possibly in Calpina, but down here I've got the edging to it. Further up with the hands and the many a bank that it's cut, it's always been shaped by our own hands. Uh, and this morning from the uh, the dog got it this morning. <laughs> it's been uh, shaped by herself as well. So, yeah, if we could speak, and uh, I think in a way, today, I think it does speak to us because when I go out to the Mula and we go for the walks, we see the peat bands. Some of them that are, are still being cut, it's great to see. And the others which have been sort of like you would see the, the movement of the of the land itself when I go out there. Because we haven't been cut for so long. With the water's coming down as well, it's changing all the time. But what, what I can see is when I'm out there is when the the cap and have been cut from the previous years, from, from, from where the bank used to be. What to me remains, uh, and the ghost to me remains of uh, the friends, the families, the neighbours, all the kosher and turfs, turfs going down, that's all remains. And it goes to the remains of the, the friends, the families, the stories, and everything else that came for cutting them peats. Um, again, looking at the banks and, and, on, the, and the peat iron on Parishka, what you see is as well, in the banks from previous years, and many a year, are the scars left of the Tarashka on the peat banks. And that itself is almost a, a work of art. A, a, a almost forgotten work of art. <coughs> you can see it when you stay walk out there. It's one of the finest places to go out. I think um, when you go out there, it's, it's just it's just open and it's, it's lovely. There's, there's nothing that beats it. But at this side, when you're down on the map up, so maybe when the wind is blowing on some of the days, if you're out the moor, depending on the, which way the wind's blowing, you can also really smell the sea breeze. Or if you're down on the maca, you're getting it the hell of smell. And it's, it's just absolutely fantastic. So it's a shame, uh, it's not all the memories are, are, are great, but I think the only time that we actually have um, I mean, we're yet to open up the, the file. We do have um, the option of putting an open file, and we haven't done that yet. But it's so nice when the breeze is right, and you see the smoke coming from the chimneys, and you catch it on the nose. It's 
quite sad how, how that kind of uh, thought is what brings us, maybe as a village or a community together, and the smell of the and happy times and uh, being out in the peace and um, I think the, 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 the longest memory I've got of being out uh, in Grandma's life and James' life and Mum and Dad were like, what else? Uh, the fire, the, the fire that used to burn to boil the water for the tea. To, uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm telling myself, maybe I'm telling myself too much, that it's, there was potatoes in the boil. I'm sure there was. There was kippers. I'm sure, that's, that's the vaguest memory I've got of being out there. Uh, but what a fantastic place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this together today. I've got two little, uh, this is peat incense. So I'm going to light peat incense. Peat candles. So it's as if uh, you've walked into somebody's house and they've got the blow down. <laughs> in a nice way, in, in a nice way. Now I hope the fire alarms will, um, if the fire alarm's gone, it's a big bad. Just run, run in the general direction of a way. <coughs> Kirsty? Yeah, you'd be better at this. I'm not one for candles and that, although. Kirsty, come out of it. Can you light these, please, Kirsty? Just be careful for now. So we got a nice sort of little window room from the team. Uh, the dish I'm going to do today is, uh, again, this is from a memory. Uh, many of uh, you, I'm going to call it the faraway teams. Uh, Dad was always adamant that the same grouse came back every year. Uh, so that's the thing I'm working on today. I'm going to use the. How do I do uh, it's a grouse right. dish. But what I'm going to do is, well, even when you're out walking, these things fly at you from the header and they give you a bit of a fright and a startle. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of grouse today. Uh, you can stall going. We didn't have this out in the world. Are you getting a loft? I'm just getting that. Can you spare uh, the beads? Can you spare the insects? It'll come, it'll come. <laughs> um, so what I've done is, I've as much memory of the, of the peas into this dish as possible. What I've got here is some turnip, which I have, the whole swede was wrapped and smooth, then wrapped in tin foil, then baked for a few hours. The whole idea is to get almost the flavour of just the taint into the turnip. Almost like smoking it in a way, but just getting the flavour of the smooth into it. Um, can, you can imagine if uh, on a warm summer's day or and, and it's, been, it's warm and it's been a rain, a shower of rain, there's the smell in the air of the moist earth almost. That's what I'm trying to put into this turnip that kind of moist earth um, memory. And for this, I'm going to layer it into the little mold. And then what I've got here, with some grouse layers, is almost like a grouse haggis. It's been made with some buckwheat, instead of the oats, and onion, some seasoning, some a splash of something nice. So it's just, there is a grouse haggis. Okay. So we'll layer some of that into the, oh, making mess already. We'll layer some of that into the mold. I'm going to press it down, press it down. Then we'll get another sheet, which again will be brushed with butter and we'll keep them layers until we've got a Swede and grouse haggis lasagna, that's what we're calling it, okay? Here's one that we've already got, and we'll give that blast in the oven. And, okay. uh, yes, please. Uh, 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 so 
we're going to start off with this. This is the goose with two nice breasts. The rest of the cactus was roasted and made into a nice stock, nice and simple. Bay leaf, a bit of onion, a slice of carrot, that's it. But roasted well, so we get a nice colour in the bones to give us a nice tasty stove. Uh, so what we'll we start off with is our sauce. We need to put the pan nice and hot. Oh yeah, I don't know. Too early. And then I'm fogged out. Too early. Yeah. <laughs> it's reminiscent, no? We <laughs> put the back in the pan. It has a book. <laughs> what I want to do as well, to the sauce, I'm going to also add some licorice root. I think uh, the travelling sweets was uh, quite a big thing, or a uh, pack of uh, boiled sweets or something, and uh, Dad liked licorice also, so I thought why not just do some licorice root and um, flip it into the, uh, into the whiskey. That's nice and warm, so now put that temperature up. Pan's nice and hot. What I'm going to do is put that olive in the pan. I just want to throw in them uh, as best we can. Flat on the frying pan. There's no other way of uh, explaining it. Potatoes in the frying pan. I'm going to get them nice and brown. To make them look like a So we can put the whiskey back on. The licorice root go in, give us some back in flavour. And get that nice and reduced that stuff. Sinus in the oven. I've got a good quality marmalade just to finish it off as well, which will add to it once it's uh, reduced a bit more. As part of the luncheon today, like I said, now I'm 29 years old, everyone's going to have their own fat. 
Everyone's going to be served the lunch on the feet. I'm getting a little sore foot. I am going to ask the heel. <laughs> Are you crazy? Well, yes, I am. That's why I came up with the idea. The feet's been processed by my fair hands. And out the mirror, pockets of feet, place them into their mold, and they've been processed, sterilized. So it's the technically really not raw. And on top of that, we've got an oil tablecloth, very reminiscent of out the mirror, the pots going down. Uh, so that's the whole idea. You can see that once the demonstration is over. I try to incorporate as many uh, memories into, into the luncheon as possible. Uh, the sandwiches. I, I couldn't do kippers when I was cleaning kippers or potatoes. So I thought, right, go with the sandwiches. We'll run with a biscuit, custard creams, and classics. Uh, the duff, obviously. But the duff ones has been cut into a nice duff slice with plenty of butter on it. Proper butter. It has to be. If we come this far, it has to be. And I think in the last years, quiche, uh, which was actually bought from Costco, was clear to me. I think even embarrassingly, I think a, a flask of boiling water would come out for a pot and drink. I mean, who stays for the peas with the uh, gel in the air? <laughs> um, so, in the half again, but this one, Kirsty, Sue, just turn it off this time. Yeah, we're going to do the Kirsty Atkins. So, I'm going to finish off with the potatoes. Uh, out in the middle, you've got, you can see the remnants of the old fat, and so even the piece back itself, the moss starts to grow on it. I think, yeah, picturesque, very picturesque. What about here is some dried moss, which I'm using as seasoning. So on my parents, I just want to finish that off with a little, just a little bit of dried moss. <coughs> To the stalks, come down by about half now in the marmalade. The dark marmalade, slightly bitter, which will work even better with the uh, richness of the sauce. Sauces can 
we are still going to make a bang of it. Uh, we've got uh, closed process seasoning with the uh, peat smoke salt. And we've got the clearance with the moss on. So, we can finish the sauce off now. So that's come down and there's lots of flavour in there. Um, we're going to finish it off with a little bit of butter. I'm going to take it off and see if it's I'm going to whisk that in. Get this all cooked. Stick in the sauce and give it a nice steam, a nice shine to the sauce. Joyce isn't uh, an everyday servant, so why not? It's fairly cheap. It's uh, for the health Story to run with, with, with um, the dish itself of the same guys, same guys that came back every year. Uh, and the, the, the memory of, uh, if, not memory, if you let them know anyway, that uh, comes flying out of you, gives you a bit of fly. So I want to incorporate that idea of this little bird nesting in the heather as you approach it. And by that, I'm going to. Now, I'm so grateful for being here today and doing this demonstration and I'm grateful for you to, uh, to, for me to be here to share this idea, to take us into my little world of madness. Um, so what I'm going to do is, now if I'm going to eat my food, I want to know. We've seen the places that have a chopping board some, for a cheeseburger or food served on a slate. If you're going to eat something, I want on a plate. But if you're coming into my little world just for an hour, I want it to be special. So today, I'm going to serve this place. It's bad you now, okay? Um, it'd be quite costly if I was going to give everyone my spade. Uh, but, you know, again, the, the, the spade, once uh, we finish turfing, would be hidden in the bog anyway for the next day instead of taking it home. Uh, so I'm going to do this, just for the theatrics. I can't say it like that. So we'll get the speed level. Just do that. Okay, now. Uh, let's see if I can get my lasagna off the screen. the layers. In the half again. Just a few scatterings on there. The colour, just everything. I'm going to, we've got some celery leaf on here. We're going to press the plate as if, that the spade even, as if.
Chiso. Also, we talk about Nama. If I did more research, I would have found some newer plants. Um, what I've got here are, the, are pansies, which I like. Them. So for the apiphys, for the apiphys, I'm going to mush here. This one, say, would be the buttercup. We'll have to take the careful on the non-edible part which will remove. So gentle. I'm picking the best flowers here. I think we'll take a nice little part of the one. Which is here. Again, just being careful removing the non-edible parts of the back there. Gentle. I was actually um So I'm hoping that the lunch today will take his um, back in time just briefly. Okay, ma'am. Thanks, Thank Alan. That was fantastic. Yeah.